Welcome to this week's episode of Doa Doa. Our speaker this week is Alejandro from Chile. Hi everybody, it's Alejandro Orellana from Chile, Santiago, winter, kind of. Uh, I would like to say thank you very much to Doa Doa and his eighth edition that invited to me to talk essentially about um, me, about uh, what we are doing, what I am doing uh, in my activity here in this corner of the world. Um, I started working in the music business around 1996 in jazz music. I lived in Italy for around uh, 27 years. And uh, then I moved to Chile around 12 years ago uh, and I started to work also in the world music Essentially because in 2014 we had, with my partners, we had the idea to promote a uh, WOMAT festival in Chile. It was the first one in South America. And this made that uh, I started to, around 2012, I started to work more into the uh, world music uh, universe. Uh, and it was very interesting because uh, I started to know other kind of music. I started to know other kind of regions of the world where, where there was uh, the world, uh, there was a, a lot of very music, very very beautiful music. Um, then after five years, six years with uh, of promoting Woman Festival, uh, unfortunately the festival is, has been cancelled by now. But because of the pandemic, we have to to uh, go back again on the road for next year. One of the main things, main uh, projects that uh, I started uh, around one year ago under pandemic was the Direct Music Collective and Virtual Market which is a structure, a small structure which is dedicated <coughs> mainly, sorry, mainly to uh, promote and to work around Latin American music and Latin American creators coming from jazz and from world music created in Latin America. And this is why in December we uh, realized a digital market called Virtual Market. And after that we created a catalog, a kind of database of uh, uh, Latin American music which is available to everybody in the world. It's an open, free catalog. And uh, we have around 200 bands in the catalog and this is growing up every day with new bands and new proposals from this part of the continent and the last thing we did uh, we realized a direct music magazine which is a digital magazine magazine dedicated to jazz or world music and other another kind of also uh, styles and topics like culture and politics and social matters um, and this has been a very nice project that had a lot of success. We uh, just released the first number uh, one month ago and now we are preparing the second one. Uh, the magazine will be available soon in English. I hope soon, I mean kind of three or four months. Uh, and it's focalized mainly in uh, Latin American, this is our niche. But also we talk about uh, some international musicians and about uh, some international topics related with music business around the world. With talking with uh, some uh, interesting friends, uh, festival directors or market directors or agents or musicians coming from around the world. In fact, uh, one of the main spots of uh, the virtual market and the collective, the collective uh, is dedicated to the Latin American and Chilean uh, um, original roots music. Uh, the importance of the original nations, the first nations in Chile and, and Latin America, it's uh, in this moment, in the last, well, 15, 50 years, it's not, it's complicated because they don't have uh, the root music doesn't have uh, any place to be performed or there is not much attention to that specific kind of culture 
So in WAMAT, Chile Festival, and in our activities as collective and as uh, virtual market and as a magazine, we are trying to uh, focalize, focus also our in, uh, attention into this kind of uh, original music, roots music coming from some specific areas of the mostly of the from the south of Chile, from some uh, ethnical um, uh, currents like Mapuche music, uh, which is very interesting because uh, we have to look for it. It's not uh, easy sometimes to find it, but uh, luckily uh, there are some young musicians that are working on that side and we are trying always to be in touch with them. Uh, one of them, Ernesto Holman, he's a, a Chilean bass player, uh, we can say a jazz musician, but he has focalized, he has focused his own all work, musical work since around uh, 10 years into this kind of uh, ethnical source, Mapuche Indians from South of Chile. And is one of the most successful musicians that we are presenting all around the world. We have been in Toronto, we have been in Canada, we have been in Korea, we have been in Europe, we have been more or less all over uh, South America. So uh, this proof that uh, roots music or root source music is not just something for specialistic festivals, but also can arrive to a, a wider uh, public and a wider attention and uh, also working on on this world music world business or universe uh, we noticed as WOMAD mostly that the presence of uh, uh, African music was almost uh, unknown okay uh, there are some big stars that are hanging around all over the world uh, but uh, I am sure, and we were, we were sure uh, five years ago, that there were other sources for African music, East African music, or African music, generally speaking, that were totally unknown in this part of the world. Uh, in Chile and uh, in the south of South America, I mean Argentina, Chile, uh, there is not a big presence of African culture historically speaking. It's not the same situation as in Brazil, where there was a, well, there was a slavery, there was an immigration, forced immigration in the past centuries. But in Chile and Argentina, uh, that was very, very few, uh, a very, very small presence. So Africa is a kind of uh, very unknown place, a very unknown universe. Uh, we don't know much about it. Uh, and it's always seen as a kind of uh, very mystery place, a very mystery paradise, uh, natural paradise. Uh, and uh, this is what we are also doing uh, as festival and as uh, personal research, is trying to get connected with uh, that part of the world. Because it's immense, because there is a lot of things that are happening there, mostly in the last 10 years or 15 years. There is a, I know to us, market, this very big opportunities and good opportunities for business there. So we think, I think, that we should look to Africa in a very special way, mostly these days. So the invitation, the invitation is, is very simple, uh, it's very easy, it's just to uh, get connected with this part of the world, to make networks with this part of the world, what part of the world, and start building something, you start building the presence after this awful year of pandemic, start building bridges and start building the presence of uh, uh, Latin American music in Africa and African music in Latin America. There are festivals that can be interested. There are many ways to work uh, in both sides of the world with something that possi possible is new to both sides. I mean, I don't think that, or maybe I can imagine that Latin American music, speaking from, uh, talking about uh, um, Latin American music from Mexico to Chile, so it's a wide, very wide country, very wide region. 
I think there's not much present in Africa, generally speaking. And in the same way, the African culture, but exception for specific things, uh, is very unknown here. So there is a very, very big space to work together. This is my, uh, my wish. This is what I would like to do. This is why we created the collective and we are going to do, uh, we are doing network, networking job with uh, uh, African structures uh, and we want to keep going on with that. We think that there is a very good opportunity because there is not much happening. I really, from my heart, I really would like to invite everybody uh, to come to Latin America, to listen to American music, to get connected with the structures that are working already here in Latin America, like us, like Direct Music Collective, uh, in order to understand and know better what is happening in this side of the world. And the same thing we would like to do, trying to dig inside as much as possible in the African culture and the African music. So the invitation is open to everybody that uh, wants to discover that uh, Latin American music is more than salsa, cha-cha-cha, and dancing, you know, in the cry regions. There's a lot of things happening here. There is a whole universe of rhythms, a whole universe of harmonies, a whole universe of music and experimentation that uh, wants to go abroad, that wants to go out from Latin America, from this country. And uh, we need to make them now. The need, the, we need to make them uh, be more famous all around the world. And inviting you, inviting the whole African area to come to visit us, to come to listen our music, is the first step to uh, move into that direction. Uh, again, I really, really appreciate this invitation. I hope that uh, this edition will be very successful. And uh, the most, I mean, I really would like to go to Africa as soon as possible. I have been just in North Africa for markets and musical uh, meetings, but there is a whole world to discover there, and I hope that in the next year I will be able to visit you. Thank you very much. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to yet another edition of Doa Doa 2021, a virtual docu-series. As you've heard from the speaker, I would like to focus on the artist of the week. And she's all the way from Jinja, the city that births the source of the Nile. Welcome to Lil Kadima. Lil Kadima. Big Nash. Nazala Mfuki de Chizibu. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Nazala. My name is Lillian Nazua, a.k.a. Lily Kadma, the Uganda, African, straight out of Kampala, capital city of Uganda. Here I come. I just want to tell you a story on this virtual edition 2021, 9th door door. Yes, it's been tough. Lockdown has gotten us here, but we are live and kicking. You know, we're live and kicking. I'm not so sure about money, but I think I am eating food. Good food. Check me before and check me now. There's food on the table. Lillian Naziwa Birunje, a.k.a. Lily Kadima. I come from the central. But I'm half caste. My mother comes from the eastern part of Uganda, Jinja, Budondo, Chibibi, all the way across the Nile. Yeah, that's why I sing partially Lusoga, and then actually my stem, the music stems from that part. And because of my paternal side, I'm traveling to the central too for the Luganda. But I would wake up to any language musically, any language, but I'm not smart speaking languages, but I can sing any language. Iwali na chi, Iwali na chi. 
a child, I was very quiet. I was an introvert. I've always been an introvert. Very so much. But I loved, however, whenever there was a group of music, of, of people singing, I would come closer. Just very silent, listening, sometimes participate, but still not very present. Though I, when I was a child, I fantasized a lot about being a star. I used to admire big stars. I, I grew up watching Lucky Dube, that is in my father's house, um, Chela Mwana, um, um, listening these uh, music uh, concerts. My father had concerts recorded for uh, Paul Cafero, um, Fide, the late, uh, Fide Bongo Le Lutaya, um, and then on TV, I was the chief entertainer, um, inter uh, chief in charge of entertainment at home, so the remote was always in my hands. But I didn't know that was the calling because I wanted every now and then to look out for channels that are having entertainment. But I, I swear I didn't know that I was going to hold the microphone, but I had, my soul was, was just telling me that I'm, 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 I'm going to be somewhere. But I just didn't know, I could not tell, paint the picture, right? But I just, whether it was music, my soul existed just like that, just like that. So as a child, of course, I loved in, interacting with uh, my siblings, neighbors, children. So when it was holiday time, I'd invite them. And I'd make sure, I always made sure I was the leader. If I was not the leader, there's no shows in the evening. I was <laughs> only when I was the lead. This is another thing. Omuntoyo goma wechaga. Mufeko. Yeah, <laughs> 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 If I found a child, right now I would advise them to focus and just learn a lot of music instruments and figure out their own journey and not really go through this. But it depends. If you want to make money, you have to survive, period. Especially if the support is not really there. It comes later maybe when people learn and you can't explain your vision to everyone. They may not understand and, and it, it's a lot of energy. So my journey has been so, one, it's tiring and it's still, it's just started, I may say, but um, it takes patience, passion, a lot of passion. It's passion that has kept me on the land, period. I wake up to that side where I just want to do what I believe in, what I want to do. You don't have to like it. If I like it, I will walk my journey. So I'm an Afrofusionist, exploring different styles of music, of course, out of experience. It takes experience, practicing a lot, and I could wake up. Apparently, I've been walking an Afropop journey. I have an album out there that is called Iwoli Nachi Album that is right now on the uh, streaming on digital platforms. If you would go there, there's Iwoli Nachi Album that is I-G-H-E. Olinachi, O L I N A K I. That is, yeah, it, it stems from uh, Eastern Uganda, meaning what do you have? What do you pride in? So I was exploring and just trying to show you things. I picked on the road, but then I figured out Lily Kadma sound. So don't be surprised if next year I walk reggae, the other day I walk a blues album or a rock album. Yes, I'm capable. I've practiced good enough and I'm still practicing. So I have a lot to give and share. And yes, that's Lily Kadima. For you, I am here and I have always been a live music singer. That's all I know, live music. Let me show you my way. Let me give to you. 
What motivates me to do the kind of music I do, it's the journey. It's the journey, the, the, the challenges in society, myself, what I've gone through and wanting to share my, my how to I, I break my emotions out there and hoping that these other people like me and the different societies that are going through all these different things and 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 also just appreciating i love art as a person i believe in creative arts i love to create a lot so i wake up to that side where i just want to release something out there because i enjoy creating my soul is around creative arts so i love creating things just from scratch to something so my society itself has a lot going on the african society and interesting the most interesting thing about african stories when there's pain the beat has to go on when there's pain with our showcase with my song nazala nazala is about a mother mother-in-law and um yeah with things happening around domestic violence um challenges of of, of a girl child in 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 a relationship <laughs> Looking at a piece like that, one I'm thinking, there's culture, critics, and there's me, Lily Kadma. So, putting all these things together where I have to make sure they get my message amid these challenges, amid, amid these challenges, I make sure I just put my soul out there. What matters is my soul. The positive energy in my soul matters most than any other person's opinion. If it's in me, I'm ready to just give. So, it's society. Find that song on all digital platforms, iTunes, these are Spotify, Amazon, YouTube, please check it out. Interesting, interesting story, but it's reality. I was so doubtful as a child because, um, of course, it was like forcing us to go to church, go to church. I'm not understanding these things, but the more I've grown up with all the meditation, the challenges and how I go through them, I really believe in God. Yeah, supernatural. Um, there's special. I believe there's a special force because how we come to this world, grow up, and everything happening, pain, laughter. You know, I believe in God, big time, and hanging on that. In faith, I'm walking. I'm walking through, and I've gotten to that place where 
any challenge that comes my way, I embrace it. That's how much I believe. I embrace challenges. I do not run away. We like way back. I believe in God big time. There's so many amazing arts, artists out there, musicians, I would say. The list is endless. I'm not even tempted to mention one. But um, East Africa, um, South Seoul. I have been following South Seoul quite a while, and the live music artists would really wish to do a song with South Seoul. And um, Diamond Platinum. I like his energy as a performer. Uh, Lee. Um, Ali Kiba, yeah, that's from Tanzania, and in Uganda, um, almost every Ugandan artist there is, they're amazing, there's a lot of talent in Uganda, the list would be an opportunity, if it, an opportunity comes and I'm comfortable and the chemistry is there, I would dance to the tune period, I'm not so hard, if, where there is good, where there is creativity, where there is energy positive energy i could easily jump on board some of the stages of venues that any stage if these people gathered wanting entertainment i'm an entertainer born natural entertainer i would show up and just give my whole heart out there and just give everything everything there is to give so i'm just looking forward for an opportunity just a call away, I'll gather my bones and show up as Lily Kadma, the artist. I'm working on the two albums. One is um, digital and the other one is um, exotic. Exotic meaning it's fully produced with live instrumentation. The other one is um, created with a, it's a digital sound but with inspiration of grassroots. So hopefully other factors constant Yes, there may be something coming out by the end of this year. And when that music is out, surely you'll get to know. On the music platforms, there's online stores out there, it will be, it will be, you'll be alerted about it. But um, yeah, there's some good thing. In the pot, boiling, boiling, you should test when it comes out. You shouldn't miss Lily Kadma music coming out. Door door family, where can one find my music? You could find my music online digital stores that is amazon spotify deezer tidal uh tiktok um youtube vevo there's lily Kadma music please go out there visuals audios live performances lily Kadma. the music is there please just go there and make sure you subscribe or leave a comment like share we're out there looking forward to interacting with you. Thank you so much for joining this week's show, Doa Doa 2021. I hope you had some fun and got some inspiration. Uh, if you have any comment, please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and leave your comment or our Facebook page, Twitter or Instagram. We'll definitely get back to you. We are very grateful and until next week, I remain your host, Faizo Kiwewa from Bayimba and the Doa Doa team. Keep it door door 2021.